Okay, we are doing the sinking that needs to be done. Okay, good. Do one, two, three, clap. Let's <laughs> do that one more time. One more time. One, two, three, clap. Okay, um, let's try this again. Okay. One, clap just a second after I said one. Okay. <laughs> like say one right. Uh, actually, actually, uh, three. Okay. I'm not counting down, I'm counting up. Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Ooh. Did you hit something? <laughs> no, no, I just had my elbows on the table and I was clapping, going to clap right after you said three, but then you slowly went after three. <laughs> I thought you were doing it at three. No, one second after three. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, let's do it at three. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> this is a nightmare. <laughs> I thought that was on beat. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely on it. I heard it at the exact same time. <laughs> on your hand, but not on my end. <laughs> That's the problem. Okay, you wait a second. Okay. One, two, three. Wait half a second. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> we cannot do this. <laughs> I'm telling you, the third clap actually was fine. <laughs> on your hand, but not on my end. <laughs> it, it will sync up when you, you actually put it into the editing software. I'm sure it will be fine. <sighs> well, okay. Okay. I'm going to trust you on that. Let's begin this train wreck, <laughs> which has wrecked itself before even started. I'm going to keep all of that in, by the way. I'm doing the minimum, minimal amount of editing I could possibly do on this one, because otherwise I would be here the entire month, and I really don't want to do that. The goal of this exercise is to have fun yeah. with your friend. Mm -hmm. yep. Editing is never fun, <laughs> especially editing audio. Welcome, everybody, to the first ever... Team Yume Cross Toon Green Watch Along Session. Yeah. What is that, you may ask? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know either. We talked about Mighty Magiswords last time, and you said the second season was better than the first one, which isn't that... Yes, that was the whole catalyst yeah. for this experiment. Yeah, it... So, yes, in the latest podcast that we recorded, and I... Oh my god. Diligently edited, yes, that's the word, we talked at length, or rather I talked at length about Mighty Magiswords, the little show that almost could, but ultimately couldn't. In case you don't know what Mighty Magiswords is, it's a Cartoon Network show that has recently ended its uh, unfortunate run. Mostly for general apathy. Amidst general apathy. It had two seasons, a short run of episodes on the Cartoon Network app, and a spin-off, a very low-quality spin-off, believe it or not, of webtoons in which... The warriors are at warrior school. Oh, joy, yes. that old cliche. <laughs> Just go to that school. That exists. Because this definitely needed a backstory, even though it's the show with the least amount of continuity that Cartoon Network has produced in a long time. Oh, yeah. It's very much a throwback to the 90s in terms of zany Western animation. And also it's with its uh, anime influences. Mm -hmm. It is primarily influenced by the Slayers. If you look at the presentation, the character models of the two main characters, the warrior siblings, that is. So yes, they pretty much look like characters from the Slayers. If you recall, the Slayers mm -hmm. was this fantasy anime from the 90s that I really enjoyed growing up. It was over the top and zany and sometime it became serious all of a sudden, but it was mostly shenanigans with magic and 
ridiculous characters and uh, Mighty Magiswords it's that but time 100 and it's more similar to Ren and Stimpy in tone or Animaniacs if you will. I'm just uh, saying things right now <laughs> but getting back to the point I am not editing or any of this anything that I might say it's going to be kept in as much as it pains me to listen myself stumbling on my words all the time and yes folks i stumble on my words all the time and so does why man over here <laughs> yep and to top it all off is also a fast talker who stumbles so that makes my job very easy when i edit our podcasts but i don't complain i never complain <laughs> well except for now Getting back on track, this is the first ever Team Yume Cross uh, Toon Green Watch Along. And what does that mean? Is that we are going to try and marathon as many episodes of uh, Season 2 of Mighty Magi Swords, react to it and comment on it as we watch it. Of course, for obvious reasons, uh, there is not going to be audio or video from the show. The idea is that you will want to watch the show just at the same time as we watch it. It's sort of a commentary track to go along with it, should you choose to experience it as such. Should you choose to watch it at the same time as we do? Right. Because why not? Right? <laughs> exactly. Like you were praising like season two for being so much better than season one. Which, yes. Uh, yeah, I was trying to say, like, isn't that much of a high bar to pass just from what I've seen of season one? <laughs> I think season one is the reason why this show failed ultimately because it had the right ideas, the right jokes, but the pacing and more importantly, the editing of every episode in season one was absolutely wrong. The jokes would not land because it was going a million miles per hour. Well, as of season 2, they tweaked the settings a little bit, and the difference is akin to day and night, in my opinion. So here we are, we are going to watch season 2 of Mighty Magiswords. Again, before we start this, I would invite you to listen to our Team Yume podcast in which we introduced this concept, essentially. And um, yes, that's about it. We're going to start watching in a moment. Right, so let's yep. get on the page. Yep, Are all we set up. On the page. Oh, and by the way, we are recording each our own uh, audio tracks using Audacity. So that's why we were doing that whole synchronization bollock right at the beginning. Right. But like I said, I am not going to drive myself insane at trying to synchronize these two tracks because... The gods above only knows how long this will go for. I just, I'm just going to leave and let leave for once. <laughs> I have games to play. What do you think? I have the entire solar cycle. Not solar cycle. That's a year. The entire 24, 12 hours of a single day to 24, edit 12 things. hours. I mean... I have video games to play. <laughs> Come on. I'm a yeah, PC man. <laughs> <laughs> right then. Right. So Here we're we both on the page. Yep. There is the player. We're going to start in three, two, one. 
There's fries, they are here, Mighty Magi Swords, it's the name and career, Mighty Magi Swords, dun, 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 da, da, da. Mighty Magi uh. Swords, which is what they do best, Mighty Magi Swords, they are special tools. The Mighty Magi Swords. Get yeah. that cockroach out of my title Great. card. <laughs> <laughs> It's about as much as I expected from Mighty Magic Swords in intro. Like, I haven't seen, like, the full intro before at all, before this point. It's a good intro, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it definitely fits this sort of, like, goofy, cartoony sort of show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold on a second. No, no. That doesn't work either. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> Annabelle mode activate. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I do like the idea. <laughs> Achoo, of did you? Did you? Did you? Needlessly complicated. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they bummed out the thieves out. <laughs> oh yeah. Of this picture. <laughs> Are you insane? <laughs> this is instantly better, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's we definitely it's about. Def it's definitely thankfully slower minutes. than the first season. Yeah. Yes, it's still going at a fast pace, but the jokes managed to land this time around. Yeah. Like if this is what's the season that started all. It would be fine. <laughs> Absolutely. But it, because it's not, and that's why Mighty Magic Swords is dead. <laughs> Uh, yes, that's sad. <laughs> because there's so many good things that are just in this show's favor. The animation, I love the voice cast for for it. <laughs> yes. yes, I mean, the editing is still a bit off. For example, the character models don't really seem like they belong in the background because yeah. they don't leave shadows. Oh, there is no lighting effect at all. Yeah. It seems like they are occupying a space that's separated from the rest of the environment. Yeah, they're just in front of the environment, not actually in it. <laughs> exactly. But that said, the character animation and facial expressions are on point every time. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Oh, it's a bad neighborhood. I get it. <laughs> nope. It is. Come on, knock off Lina Inverse. I believe in you. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> That seems like the best plan. Alright, they'll just get mauled by birds. Oh boy! Yep. <laughs> okay, take notes. <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> <laughs> they just respawned! Just like a video game. <laughs> <laughs> You're not my mom.
What? <laughs> I like the word "dupey." Yeah, it's it's so cute. Yeah, it's just replacing all the naughty words with just dupey so, words. His actual plan is to summon the tooth fairies. <laughs> yeah. To solve the situation. <laughs> Only mighty magic swords. Yep. Oh, there she is. Right yep. on cue. Yes, if only. And you got a freaking tooth in your nose, lady. Well, I guess we just single-handedly destroyed the hopes and dreams of millions of children, didn't we? Yeah, they'll be fine. Exemplary. Ah, oh. <laughs> even the narrator is without <laughs> speech. Pizza Magi Swords! <laughs> Oops. Oops. <laughs> um. Oh, that's not good. What? Well and yeah. looks like we're blasting off again. Yeah. What? Why? Because it's goofy for the sake of goofy. I mean, he is goofy for the sake of goofy all the time. That's oh, yeah. pretty much his character. Yep. Ooh. And yep. This is going swimmingly, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's funny because they have to cross a river. <laughs> but they can't. Oh yeah. <laughs> Welp. And then a cakewalk. Why the butter? Yep. The butter was too much. Yeah. Big bad boot. Yeah. yeah, I see a problem there. Yeah. The silliest faces, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> well, oh, we might be here all night, folks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a meat grinder, not a bone grinder. <laughs> Plot resolution magic sword. Not yeah. yet. Incoherent screaming magic sword. And skidaddle magic sword. And book in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Ball reference, Magi Sword! Yeah, that would have been my first choice if I do. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, that's really cool, actually. Yeah. It's definitely fun how creative it can be. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, they are just teeth yeah. floating around. They're yeah, not sentient, just, are yeah, they? Yeah, you just push past them and that's it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Muppet Magisword, I guess. I mean, there is a full brain in between the two of them, so this should work. Yeah, that's giving them a lot more credit. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, this introduces the gimmick for the entire season. Combos! Magi Sword combos. And this is where the show really gets creative with that idea. Yeah. So they literally 
fuse the rain magic sword and candy magic sword to create a rain of candies and to destroy that deteriorated nature. the teeth and that whole and that whole moat right there which had probably a lot of fish in it and everyone died hooray i don't think the fish actually eat the candy <laughs> But then yeah, again, the yeah, pollution like, will do it. Yeah, that water is now chocolate. And no fish got to live on that. <laughs> yes, with the moral out of the way. Uh oh. Well, yeah, <laughs> peace out. Yeah, of course, moonwalk out of there. Well, I guess that's not a payday, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these end credits are just lovely. You have just, just a lot of just bouncy animation. Very nice. <laughs> it is a very bouncy shoe. The kind I like. Yeah. And that was episode one. Isn't that a complete turnaround from the complete disaster <laughs> that was season one? Just by watching this one episode. Yeah. Well, I'd say not a complete turnaround. It's, it's like still in the same vein of like the first season. It's definitely better, way better paced than it. It definitely has a much more I, I solid idea of what it wants to do, do with itself. But, but yeah, I, I mean, could. I that's could what they meant. We turn around, actually. <laughs> you turn around from being like, "Oh my god, I don't want to watch this at all," to be like, "Oh yeah, that this is a show now." Yes, this is a show that I want to watch. That's the turnaround for me, <laughs> which is one heck of a turnaround in that sense. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> oh, yeah, I can. I can see that. Uh, before it was just me, me just watching. It's just like, oh. No. Every time I just see it come on, it's just like, oh god, it's just noise. <laughs> but now it's just like, oh, it's 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 fun bouncing and all that, and actually it's just a cartoon. <laughs> Indeed. Well, should we begin with the second episode? Second episode starts right about now. Warriors for hire, they are here. Mighty Magi Swords, it's the name and career. Mighty Magi Swords, and the dun blah blah blah. Mighty Magi Swords, which is what they do best. Mighty Magi Swords, they have special tools. Da, 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 da. Words, words, and lyrics. Da, 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 da. The <laughs> Mighty Magi Swords. <laughs> Mighty yeah. Magi Swords. To Boulder Lego. Oh, yes, I remember this one. <laughs> uh, of course, the barber shop would be a giant wig. Yep. And of course, they fucks all on his hair. <laughs> there we go. Woo. Nothing bad will happen to that mane of hair. Yep, nothing at all. <laughs> oh no, that's almost about as much time as an episode of a cartoon. Pretty much, yes. We must uh, resolve the conflict before the end of the episode. Otherwise, we will be homeless. <laughs> It's an elephant in the room. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, okay. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, just to throw you off. Oh no!
<laughs> yep, that's that's Bamber's brain. She has a mind of her own, apparently. <laughs> of course. Which is ironic on several layers. <laughs> oh yeah. Whoop. <laughs> Perfecto. <laughs> it's a good thing it's not acid. Yeah. Where is my brook? Oh wait, wrong episode for that. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, they're taking this vanity act a bit too far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A mirror that smells like orange. Now that's novelty. <laughs> oh, it's very nice. Uh-oh. Uh, booby trap. Oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Bamber's brain is evil, and yeah. so is she. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Oh, I do love... Really? Oh no, cartoon logic's not working. Well, I guess you might as well call yourself Mr. Clean from now on. Ah, <laughs> uh, aha. Oh, it's a family of air balls. <laughs> oh, no, keep away. It's okay, take your time. Yep. Uh, no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> hey. Hey, so cool. Uh, yeah, 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 I guess. Uh. I'm going to try now. No? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, just your lady I'm here. too tired. Five more minutes. <laughs> I'm depressed. Oh, so depressed. Kaboski! <laughs> Shut up, <Yeah>. brain. <laughs> I hate when my brain comes to life just to mock me. Yeah. Uh-oh. 
Oh. oh. Well, that's a pity. Me. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Yep. Gonna fly I <laughs> <laughs> Well that was bold of her <laughs> oh, it certainly was oop, oop. There we go Yes. <laughs> Hermosa. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Well, that was rude. Yeah. <laughs> nice week, man. Yeah, nice, nice week. I guess. <laughs> Ow. Oh no. <laughs> I can fight! I got hair! <laughs> <laughs> Prohias 2018! <laughs> ah, time for combo again! Yeah. <laughs> nice! You know, Mighty Magiswords would work well as a concept for a video game. Yeah, oh, definitely. A Kirby-style game in which you combine powers together. Yeah. And you create new powers with that. Yeah, that would be re really cool. And it's just, like, colorful and all that. And it's just high fantasy already. Boop, there and zany. Yeah. To the max. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I guess the human furry couple will not get the house in the end. Nope. <laughs> oh, it's so goofy. And that was episode two. What do you think? <laughs> honestly, I, I I preferred episode one. Honestly, definitely felt like it was much slower this episode in in a bad sense, where it just kept going over the same thing over and over again. Yes, well, episode one was a pretty good opener. This one is not as good, but it's still a relatively strong outing. It had its moments. I really like the faces that they make at any given point, and the occasional use of a rose-tinted uh, um, panel, so to speak. That's very Rene Stimpy of yeah. this show. <laughs> yeah, they definitely like use like that many animation styles to its full full potential. Like that was a perfect yes. use of that panel. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, let's get to episode three for the love of Narwhal. Okay. It begins in three, two, one, now. Warriors for hire, they are here, mighty magi swords, it's the name and career, mighty magi swords, I will obnoxiously sing this one every time. Da -da 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 -da. Mighty magi swords, the mighty magi swords. 
<laughs> oh, it's another episode in which Prohias is in love with one of his magi swords. Uh, I see. That is surprisingly recurring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems to be just written off as the dumb one, so I can see them do, like doing that a lot. Because you can do I any. Mean, technically, they are both dumb, but uh, different uh, layers of idiocy. Yeah. A darling narwhal magic sword. That she is cute. <laughs> with cuteness. <laughs> Just stab the guy with it. <laughs> ah, she vomited sugar. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh wow, Bamber. Ooh. Wow, the monster is suddenly on the side of the poor Maji sword now. <laughs> <laughs> it actually has a point, but um <laughs> How could you be so cruel? Because I... Why could I be so idiot? Yeah, because I, because I puked in my shoes. <laughs> Bro, splain magic swords. <laughs> okay, don't, don't bring the monster into this. Yeah, yeah come on, it's not cool, man. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, you gosh. You got two fangs now. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, it's the Care Bear Ray all over again. <laughs> It hurts quite a bit. <laughs> well, they say kill them with kindness. Yeah, it's literally killing them. Hooray. <clears throat> no. <laughs> you fool! Nom 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 Oh, this will end well. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have fun here at Mighty Magi Swords. Yep. Just keep... But remember, playing with electricity is bad. Yep. And just being crazy ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> I 
and she runs right into ah, never mind. Yeah, big L. <laughs> Aw. Boo. <laughs> yeah. Ha! Yeah. Oh. oh no, it's the dinosaur. <laughs> 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 Symbols right in the face. <laughs> oh yeah, whatever. Soon. Can't sell kittens. This is weird. She's not just selling kittens. They are her kittens. <laughs> it's even weirder. <laughs> She's selling her own children. Okay then. Oh, wait! You look, never look a, let go of that sword for how many days? Yeah, <laughs> look at how flat that magic sword was, putting it down. Whoop. Oh, my heroes. Yeah. I'm the other monster, not the small one, but I have the same voice. Yeah, you're in the exact same face of the design. <laughs> My little honeydew. <laughs> wow, she's a really abusive owner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you deserve that. <laughs> Scream and run away. <laughs> Woo! More screaming! Oh no, my children that I'm selling! Oh no, my slavery ring! <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Reunited with the magic sword! <laughs> Yeah, my organs. Have you now? Yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah, you, yeah, you have. <laughs> oh, shut up, man. <laughs> Uh oh. Uh ha. Oh, she. The next morning. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> okay. Yikes, indeed. <laughs> um... <laughs> oh, okay. okay, okay, that that, that was interesting. Okay. Well, that's that's an episode, all right. <laughs> it, it is. <laughs> it's just the right amount of wacky, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> uh, these are just the early episode in season two. It gets much, much better as it goes on. <laughs> No, I, I see. It definitely feels like they're getting in more on their own as the season goes on. It definitely. Yes. I wish they did that in season one, but I, I definitely see it more I, I here. Mean, yeah, okay. That, that, that's the light motif, isn't it? I wish they did better in season one. <laughs> because it doesn't really matter that it did better in season two. Because they have all season one is basically their, their opening act. <laughs> I know, I know, it's sad. <laughs> But still, let's enjoy what we have <laughs> at this moment. <laughs> okay, it's time for... What was it again? Episode 4. Winning at whining. Oh, that should be good. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's... Are you there? Yeah. Uh, g- give me a second. I do do want to check. Like, there's, there's, there's 40 episodes in this second season. How, how many episodes are we binge-watching now? <laughs> well... Let's let's proceed up until we can. They are ten minutes long episodes, yeah. so let's watch as many as we can <laughs> for now. <laughs> okay. How how about episode five? <laughs> like I do. Um, episode six. Okay, sure. <laughs> episode six. Okay, so let's begin episode four. Okay. It begins in three, two, one, and now. Yeah. Warriors for high, they're here, mighty magi swords, it's a aim and career, mighty magi swords, it's a dun da da da, mighty magi swords, it's a dun da da da, mighty magi swords, and then tools, bam 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 mighty magi swords. <laughs> Winning at whining. There we go. Oh, I think this is the episode with the best faces. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, no. <laughs> Why do you have a toilet bear? Because <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, and um, grumble, grumble. <laughs> um, <laughs> attempted murder. <laughs> Hello there, Mr. Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> That's a treasure map to a face. <laughs> Nail Clipper Magi Sword yeah. times twenty. It's, it's a bargain, but what are you expecting? <laughs> and the map is alive. Yeah, just staring at them. Oh yes, it's the episode in which Proias gets driven insane. Oh yeah.
Aha! <laughs> He has a one a wino meter in his brain. (laughs) 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 What? <laughs> wow. Okay. A rupee for a commercial drink. Or a belt zero. <laughs> Oh, God. (laughs) There he goes. <laughs> oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, an escalator. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> yes, of course, uh, a junk food joint will be inside a dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Aha. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> wow, okay. Yeah. It's a small world. Yes. <laughs> After all. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> La 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 <laughs> la 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 It's not whining, technically. Yeah. Just yelling. Yep. She's having way too much fun. Oh, definitely. (laughs) A scour burger, Magic (laughs) Sword. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh god yeah, definitely the expressions are the best here well here comes la pièce de résistance <laughs> oh my gosh that <laughs> painting that's art my friend oh, it is. Uh-oh. <laughs> what? Oh, broccoli. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's his doppelganger. <laughs> it's very annoying. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Office job, bro. Ah, yes. <laughs> He's dead inside. <laughs> He's emotionally dead. <laughs> Nothing. This is a turn. <laughs> this is <laughs> the authorities, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just reverse it. And nail clipper. And yes, you saw it coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I love this show, sincerely. It is good. Goofy. I can see why you would love it so much. Oh, yeah. It's 50% non sequitur. The delivery is so on point. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> right then, let's get to episode 5 then. Sounds good. Suitable armor! <laughs> okay, I'll set it on episode 5. And we are going to start episode 5 right now. Warriors for hire, they are here. Mighty Marge is ours. That's the name and career. Mighty Marge is ours. Mighty Marge is ours. Mighty Marge is ours. I don't care. This is the song. I'm going to sing it every time I can. The Mighty Marge is ours. Meow! <laughs> it's a weird looking cat. Yeah. <laughs> the one eyelid blinking. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, balloons? Yes. K-pop? No! Yeah. She hates trousers. Oh, I hate pants so much. Um, you Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Get your big old snoot. <laughs> ah, the old uh, sheep in wolf's clothing trick. Let us do the thing. <laughs> What? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Steel magnolia. Oh my god. Ooh. Pat pat. <laughs> <laughs> You're insufficient. <laughs> <laughs> so you just happened to pass by, saw them, and said, Yep, that's what I'm going to do today. Yep. Oh. Mm. <clears throat> like pain. You feel pain. Hmm. <laughs> oh no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not him, that's for oh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bam, 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 bam. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then. Uh, no, I, I... Well, that's just sad. <laughs> no, get away from me. Owie. Oh, no, I hurt my weed a weed. <laughs> bat, bat. That depends on the class. Yeah, that depends on more the bad guy falling. <laughs> Surely. Oh boy, shoulder pads. The size of your body. Oh. I'm in love now. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Razzle frazzle. <laughs> Any time now. <laughs> wow, this was a terrible idea. Well, that comically backfired. <laughs> pat pat. <laughs> oh boy it's time for a samurai jack reference it's a literal mecha <laughs> yeah. You know they're not actually pants, they're just in a big robot. <laughs> Ock indeed. <laughs> um oh. No. no! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Please don't. Casplode. Casplode! Yes. <laughs> Pat Pat <laughs> Oh. oh no, a, a wild bamber is on the loose. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah. If elected, I will rid the world of pants. <laughs> no pants for anyone. Today we celebrate our Independence Day oh. from pants. <laughs> the cat <can't> too. <laughs> Yay. Yay! In the pants dance day. <laughs> She's suddenly competent now. Yep. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.
<laughs> Mercenaries monthly. Okay. No pains, no problem. <laughs> oh, okay. That was lovely, wasn't it? Was. it? You're just goof, goofing over the tip. Exactly. Okay, uh, let's watch one more episode, I guess. That yeah, sounds good. Changeable, terrangeable. Episode 6 begins, and now... Warriors for hire, they're here, mighty magic swords, they name and career, mighty magic swords, that's a da 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 mighty magic swords, it's a little bash, mighty magic swords, special tools, da 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 Ah, yes. This episode has an unexpected but welcomed twist. In a meta-narrative sense, uh, you will see. Um. Oh. Toilet bear! <laughs> Impact Flash! Yeah. <laughs> huh. Inciting Incident Magi Sword! <laughs> what is this furry convention? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Immensely. Immensely helpful. Oh boy! <laughs> oh. Uh, Omnibus is the cue of Mighty Magiswords, oh. essentially. Dance Labyrinth, you say? Ahem. <laughs> Why would a, a creature with infinite power, like Omnibus, need the, the warriors to do anything, <laughs> really? <laughs> But that's one of the yeah. <laughs> illogical conceits of fantasy that have been uh, spoofed yeah. here. So yeah. you're not supposed to question yeah. that. Or you can just basically just answer what he just wants to just mess with them. No, no, he's legitimately paying them to retrieve items uh, uh, for him. Oh, I know that, but he's just still... Because he's a collector. Oh, but he's still just messing with them because he could just do it himself, but he just lets these guys do it. <laughs> it could be. Yeah, <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course, it just randomly appears, <laughs> the doppelganger. Why not? Yeah, remember? <laughs> Ooh, a distraction. <laughs> Magical hedge maze. Yep. 
Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Uh oh. Here comes Twabble. Impact Flash! <laughs> <laughs> Little ghost birds. Sixteen nopes. <laughs> Level one cleared. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Oh. oh, wow. Here we go. Oh no. Oh. It's time for a Scooby Doo chase sequence. Oh, there we go. Whoop. Remember? <laughs> Attractive voice, Magi Sword. Come on, girl. A doy. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> hmm. So the moment they stop talking, they actually become efficient. Yeah. <laughs> And they reach a mutual understanding just by... Just by not talking. Just shutting by up. not talking, by using their physical language. That's nice. Yeah. All right. Woo. Microphone Magisword.
The inner workings of this world's fauna really baffle me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the magical owls defeat the demons of shadow. Yeah, the demon owls. It's then. <laughs> That's yeah, actually yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, I can hear him. It's just his hair. Never... Sing a sixty nine sixty nine. I love this adorable owl. We are the masters of effing attitude city. <laughs> that character is voiced by actually Danny Avidan. Oh, yeah, no, no, I totally, I totally heard. No, that's Danny. <laughs> I'm telling to the audience, <laughs> Daniel Avidan, then of Game Grumps and uh, Ninja Sex Party fame. That's him. Yeah. They made a character literally for him in this episode of Mighty Magi Swords. Yeah. And he was just. And that is the twist, and it's such a lovely discovery, yeah. honestly. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just so funny and cute just to see him just pop up there. <laughs> And it doesn't surprise me at all. After all, his partner, Erin Anson, the other half of Game Grumps, is actually voicing uh, several characters in this show. Right. <laughs> so, of course, Danny will get some sort of position at some point. <laughs> I like to think that he gets a cameo because the crew was <laughs> a fan of his music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can definitely see uh, that. <laughs> But this is lovely. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I enjoy this show. It really... It shortens the gap between media in ways that you wouldn't expect from a major show mm -hmm. from a major network. So that's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, definitely seeing all these sort of, like, online animators and such and online personalities that just found their way onto Mighty Magiswords. Like, that's the one thing that I basically find, like, very uplifting about it. There's all these people who were able to get get onto this show, and it's still a high-quality high show. Like, even the first season looks really nice. It's just not edited very nicely. It doesn't have the pacing like the second season has. Yes, we can both agree at this point that season two is a massive improvement, and we've seen what this show can really be. Yeah. What its potential can accomplish. And really, Dan Avidan was just uh, the the little strawberry at the top of the cake. Right. Exactly. It's... Just... Um, mwah. It's very good. <laughs> it, is. it was very pleasant. <laughs> I agree. And the show will get even better as future episodes occur. I think Goat, which we are yet to see at this point, is the point of no return for this show. Which, it's basically when I realized that this is potentially one of the best shows I could watch today. Right. If only it had a better head start. Mm -hmm. That sounds good. We'll just have to see it when it comes up. I hear somebody yelling in the background. Yeah, it just seems like there's a party going on downstairs with my parents and such. Okay, well, that seems like the perfect cue to end our first ever Team Yume Cross Toon Green Watch Along of Mighty Magi Swords. <laughs> I hope we get to continue this and eventually... Uh, see the entire season. Mm -hmm. But in case we don't, I cannot recommend this show enough. If you watched the first episodes along with us, then this is a good chance for you to go off on your own and seek out the rest. It is worth it, and it gets better and better. Up until there is no more <laughs> of it. And I am sad. Oh, so sad. <laughs> So sad. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you... I'm whining. 
Don't worry, you become like a businessman. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Office worker Brohias. <laughs> it is surprisingly quotable as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right then. Again, thanks for listening or watching or whatever it is that you do. I have been Madog Die Master. I've been Y Boy. And together we are podcasters for hire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh. Good night, everybody. Good night. End of recording, Magisword. And ending recording, Magisword. <laughs>